y'all. I know it's been a while, but I'm back on here to unbox something that I got because I saw Whitney, aka Naturals85, try it out. So if you follow her, you probably can guess what this is. But let's go ahead and get the box open. So I have my box cutter right here. I have a box right here. I'm bad at this. <laughs> so this is the box. Nothing special inside. No kind of card or anything. That is until you open and get past the <laughs> So this is on top. Amika Velveteen Dream Shampoo and Conditioner and a Sexture Beach Look Shampoo. Give it a try. Why not? It's a return label in here, which of course I'm not going to show y'all. And then there is the main event, which is this Amika, whoa, <laughs> this Amika hair dryer. And if you don't follow Naturals 85, she got some kind of like value pack basically that comes with the dryer two shampoos and maybe a or a shampoo and conditioner maybe a dry shampoo or some kind of it comes with some other stuff like some actual styling products but I didn't need all of that I just really wanted the dryer itself and so this I'll have to put it in the description box but I think it retails for $99.99 but if you are a first time buyer you can sign up for um I think it's email notifications or text message text message notifications and you'll get 15% off also because it's the holiday when I purchased mine they had just a 20% off of I think an order of $75 or more just period you didn't have to sign up for anything so if you're watching this and it's still the holiday season you might just want to go over to the website and see if they just have basically a website wide coupon where you don't have to sign up for anything so making sure so there's nothing else in the box that is it and so the reason I got this is because it's not so much for me it's more so for my daughter she has very 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 thick very 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 tightly curled hair and right now I'm using the Revlon blow dryer um it's like the brush blow dryer I try to put a picture up so you guys can see what I'm talking about because I don't feel like going to get it but right now I use that on her because it's a pretty gentle blow dryer. Like it works really good. But the heat setting, the downside is you don't have any control. I can't get this box open. The downside is you don't have any control over the heat setting. So it's basic. Oh, Jesus. So let me just put a pin in that story. If you see, if you can see, I thought this like slid out. So I'm over here trying to push, 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 and wondering why it's not going anywhere. Look, look at this. Look. It just opens in the front. Lord Jesus. Ha! I haven't made a video or been on YouTube in a very long time. Obviously, I need to get my techniques together. But anyway, the Revlon um, blow dryer, it works really well. Very affordable. I think it's only $29.99 or $39.99. I've been using it for at least a year. I use it on myself and I use it on my daughter. But the only thing is, like I was saying, it only has two heat settings, low and high. And even the low heat setting, once it's on for probably 15, 10 to 15 minutes, even the low heat setting is hot. And so once I saw Whitney, aka Naturals 85, use this, and she said it doesn't get as hot as a Revlon brush because she also uses the Revlon brush. I decided that I wanted to try this on my daughter's hair because sometimes it gets too hot for her. She's, re she's, you know, very small. She's a toddler. And so I don't really like using the Revlon blow dryer on her too often because, it again, it gets really hot. So back to the purpose of this video. It's not about the Revlon brush. However, if you do want me to review the Revlon brush, let me know and I'll do that. So again, the box opens with the magnetic you know, thing in the front. And you have the emblem of the company, which is a skull with curls on it. Um, 
you know, some words on the inside. I'm not going to read all that. And here is the star of the show. So it comes in a nice sturdy box, as you can see. Lord, I told y'all I need to get my skills back together. <laughs> my unboxing skills. This little black thing right here is basically plastic covered in velvet. So it feels nice. Nice presentation. I like it. I'm feeling it. So you take that out to get to the cord of the brush and the instructions for the brush. Which we don't need instructions right now because I'm not using it. I'm just unboxing it to show you all. So we're going to put the box to the side. So here is the brush. This is a nice kind of rubber handle right here. It's not, it probably is plastic, but it doesn't feel like cheap plastic. It feels like a little rubberized covering on here. Amika, again, the name of the company. The settings seem to be, it's off. This little fan emblem, which is probably like the cool setting. One little wave and two waves. So it's probably, again, just low and high. Um, it has, oh, I thought it had, oh, it does. Okay. Hmm. Interesting. Let me see if I can get closer to y'all so y'all can see what I'm looking at. So the bristles of the brush, hopefully you guys can see that. But the bristles of the brush, they have the rubber ones with knobs on them. But there's also bristles within this. If you can see, it's also bristles in here. Like on... A boar bristle brush these probably are not boar bristles but it's like a bristle brush but it's not the bristles are not all the way around they're only on the edges here and the center right here on both sides is only these rubber nodules so I wonder why they designed it that way but anywho that's pretty much it you have this long sturdy cord it turns really easily so when you're working with it, you don't have to worry about it getting tangled up or knotted up. Nice big plug-in. It has the reset button so you can make sure you're not blowing out your surge. And that is pretty much all to it. It has the same rubber feel on the top here. So if you're using it and you want to put your hand here, I'm hoping this doesn't get too hot. I don't think this material really gets hot. So if you're using it and you're pulling it through the hair, you can put your hand here and not worry about burning your fingerprints off. And yeah, that is pretty much it. Once I get a chance to use it, if you guys want to want me to let you know how I like it by itself or in comparison to the Revlon brush, just let me know and I can do that video as well. But yeah, that is it for this. So thank you for joining me in this quick little unboxing and I'll see y'all on the next video. Bye.